Welcome to the ESI Africa studio broadcasting from the East Africa Power Convention in Nairobi. Today I'm speaking to Kwame Parker who is the uh, executive and head of power and infrastructure for East Africa at Standard Bank. Welcome Kwame. Thank you. Um, I want to start off with uh, looking at uh, Stambik Bank's involvement uh, in a number of infrastructure projects. Uh, I know that in Kenya and Uganda, sure. in the East African region. Um, and I'd like to find out why these projects were selected. Sure, sure. Um, sure. Um, just maybe for starters, just say so Stambik Bank is part of the wider Standard Bank group. And, um, and so we work, um, we have obviously a pretty wide footprint um, on the continent and it gives us good visibility in terms of what's going on where and, um, and we have a specialist project, uh, project finance team that sits in Nairobi and covers the region. Um, which has put us in a pretty good position and had us, has us involved in a lot of the major projects. Some of the ones that you may know of are Lake Takana Wind Farm, the 300 megawatt uh, wind one. farm, which is a pretty big one. On the larger style still, although it's you know in, in process, is um, the Ambu Power 1000 megawatt coal plant. Um, we, um, we're also involved in geothermal in, uh, in, in Kenya, uh, hydro in Uganda. And so most of the work we've done now um, and are doing is in the power space, um, although more and more we are doing more infrastructure, uh, infrastructure projects as well, road, roads and woody programs, so on within the region. So besides uh, the power sector, what are the other infrastructure yeah. projects that you deal with? So yeah, I mean more than anything right now, it's um, looking at the road space. So roads in some form, so some, are t some of the roads are toll. Uh, our, our potential toll roads. Some of them are more annuity payment avail availability based payment uh, structures, but um, we are very active. We spend a lot of time with private sector, obviously, but government, and in these cases, especially importantly, to try to put together structures that, that make sense and are, are executable. Right. But here at the East African Power Industry Convention, yes. you are speaking uh, yeah. on the conference panel. Sure looking at uh, financing regional power projects, yes. so uh, that, that is your forte. And, sure. and what is your message going to be sure. to the audience? So actually my message for the audience today wasn't really about the financing side. I mean, we talk a lot about that and, you know, on some level, at this point, I think most, most folks that spend time in this space have a good idea of what the requirements are of any, of any lender, whether it's a commercial bank or a DFI, et cetera, around, um, you know, around what it requires to get to, to, to a point of bankability. Um, the real message today was really around supply and demand um, because it's something that is um, very, um, you know, very appropriate to discuss at this point. Um, East, you know, when I, when I came to East Africa, started up the team here 2010, early 2010, it was inconceivable to talk about having too much power. Um, we're at the point right now where, where today in most East African countries, there is probably enough power. Yes, you may have problems in transmission. Yes, you may have it in distribution. And yes, you do have to continue developing power to make sure you stay slightly ahead of demand. But the point is that it's a very interesting discussion simply because we've been somewhat successful collectively at, um, at, 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 at getting things done. Right. So, yeah. so that's going to be an interesting discussion. Um, but uh, looking at the latest trends that are happening uh, in the sector, uh, which are the, the trends globally that East Africa should be focusing sure. on? Sure. Um, I think, well, obviously, the, the push towards renewable energy continues. It's getting stronger. Prices for solar, for example, or solar panels, um, unrelated equipment, are coming down a lot. You know, uh, wind turbine uh, prices are coming down. So, obviously, and, 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 you know, Kenya is well positioned in terms of having, you know, a good solar resource, good wind resources. And so, it's natural that we continue to focus uh, in that space. Um, the challenge really is, because we need base load power, to drive industry because that's obviously a big push of most of these countries. How do we build our industrial base? Um, you need base load power um, as part of this mix and we probably don't spend enough time talking about base load power. The good thing that, that Kenya has especially, but probably Uganda to some smaller extent uh, and Tanzania as well, is geothermal power. And I think that's where we really need to spend time figuring out ways to develop. It's expensive to develop, it's risky to develop, but if you can get it up and running it's a fantastic green base load resource that you know many countries just don't have the option of of, 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 of doing. Right, it's, yeah. it's going to definitely be uh, uh, a 
power of choice yes. in the region yes. eventually. It, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Yes. Um, so uh, that brings me to looking at infrastructure development. Um, mm -hmm. How do you see that changing in the next five years sure. in this region? Sure. Yeah, look, I think, I think, in terms of changes, we we would expect to see more push on the transmission and distribution side, um, more private sector involvement in the transmission and distribution side, because that's really where the gap is right now. If you, yes. if you think of it where you get to the point where you can say, okay, I think I'm, I'm okay on the, on, the, on the supply side, mm. right? Now, what do I do to mm. get the power out to where the demand is? And I think that's something that's really starting to bubble up and people are starting to talk about now. How do we change things? You have to start thinking of wheeling charges, you know, so that, uh, you know, so that a transmission line on its own can be a, a profitable investment. Um, and I, I think that's really where the big push is. So that's that's kind of one side, and the other side, which is really the industrialization story, which is okay. If we're getting to the point where we have the power, what do we do around driving industry? Because we can really start having those discussions now that we can say to investors that um, you can, you know, that there is, you know, sufficient right. reliable power. Would that be power. maybe uh, developing industrial development zones? That's right, and that's a big push. I mean. Um, again, regionally, the push around special economic zones, industrial zones, etc., where you're providing infrastructure um, and ideally tax benefits as well to kind of create a, a one-stop shop for, for, for industry is, 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 has a lot of focus right now. So that's looking in five years' time. Yeah. Um, but right now you mentioned uh, the demand side. Um, yes. uh, where is that focus at the moment in this region? Um, on the demand side, well, I mean, look, demand in the region is, as I said, industry isn't massive as a, as a percentage of the mix. It really just comes from GDP growth. It comes from um, a push towards electrifying, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the country. Um, so it, it's very organic. It's very Right now, it, it's more organic than it is kind of step changes as a result of big industry. But, um, but it's coming. It's right, definitely so there, there are a lot of opportunities yeah. just waiting sure. on the surface. Sure. That brings me to my last question around um, uh, what advice you would give to somebody that wants to come into sure. uh, Kenya sure. specifically. Sure. One of the biggest things I think, and, and this gets back to the discussion around supply and demand today, is making sure if you want to come and invest in developing uh, power projects, make sure you're very clear spending time with ministry around when they're willing to slot you in around their development cycle because there was a time when it didn't matter because they just simply needed power, right? Today, they're being a lot more clinical around when they're willing to sign PPAs, when they would want you to come online and so on. And so these are really key discussions that you have to have uh, before simply jumping in and starting spending development capital. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank Come you. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pombakansel coming to you from the East African Industry Convention in Nairobi.